Chicago, magnificent hub of America's great Midwest, far-flung city of millions, ever-expanding, ever-growing. Back in the early 20th century, filmmakers showed Chicago as a fast-paced, cosmopolitan, kinetic city. That hasn't changed. Nor has the role of public transit as the linchpin that keeps this metropolis moving. After more than 70 years of service, Chicagoans still rely upon the CTA to get them where they're going and back again, reliably, efficiently, and affordably. Our trains and buses provide 1.5 million rides each weekday. Today, we're a world-class operation, thanks to the leadership of Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Since 2011, the mayor has made unprecedented investment in the CTA more than $8 billion across the entire system. Under the mayor's leadership, CTA overhauled and purchased buses to make our entire fleet like new, refurbished rail cars and placed the largest order of new cars in agency history, built new stations, completely rebuilt old stations, and reimagined how stations can become centerpieces that reinvigorate communities. The transformation we've undergone is truly impressive. Since 2011, CTA has rebuilt or refurbished nearly one-third of all rail stations throughout our system, some of which were more than a century old. We've rebuilt or rehabbed more than 70 miles of track to make our customers commute faster and more reliable. We've also made accessibility a priority. 71% of our stations are wheelchair accessible, and we announced our strategic plan to reach 100% accessibility in the next 20 years. A new assembly plant on the far south side will produce our 7,000 series cars, bringing rail car production back to Chicago after a 30-year absence. We've overhauled 1,000 buses, purchased 425 new buses, and ordered 20 new electric buses, giving CTA the largest electric fleet in the country. We've undertaken some of the biggest projects in CTA history, including the red and purple modernization and the red line extension to 130th Street. Starting in 2019, CTA will rebuild the northern part of the red line, the CTA's busiest, replacing century-old tracks and stations to meet 21st century demand. The Red Line extension will extend transit service to the far south side, promoting access to jobs and opportunity. And we've tackled transformational projects that will benefit our communities for decades to come. The sleek, modern, eye-catching 95th Street terminal created a new landmark that streamlines connections between bus and rail service on the south side. The beautiful Wilson station is already a source of pride for the uptown neighborhood, and is rejuvenating activity around the station. The newly renovated Illinois Medical District Blue Line Station provides the west side with a fully accessible modern transit link to Malcolm X College, the United Center, and the nation's largest medical district. And the architecturally striking Washington Wabash Station in the heart of downtown has become the gem of Jewelers Row in the loop. But to CTA, transit goes beyond getting people from point A to point B. It's about being part of a community and helping drive economic vibrancy in our neighborhoods through opportunity and engagement. CTA's historic investment in modernization has created thousands of jobs and opportunities for local businesses. The CTA has also created a series of programs intended to train and assist local businesses to compete for CTA work. And under Mayor Emanuel, CTA has expanded its nationally recognized Second Chance Program which provides valuable job skills and career opportunities to ex-offenders and others who face challenges re-entering the workforce. The program doubled in size under the mayor and has made a positive impact on the lives of hundreds of Chicagoans and their families. A desire to give back to our communities also led the CTA to bring Chicago Market, a grocery co-op and community space, to the historic Gerber building at the newly rebuilt Wilson Red Line Station. We remodeled and reopened this vacant neighborhood fixture which now will provide residents and CTA customers access to local fresh food. It's no surprise that the new Wilson Station has kick-started local economic development, with more than 30 new business licenses and 1,300 residential units announced, approved, or constructed within a half mile of the station. At the Morgan Green Line Station, we've seen a doubling of building permits and business licenses, while many companies, including Google and McDonald's, have relocated their headquarters within walking distance of the station and economic development and commercial rents both saw a significant uptick near our Cermak McCormick Place station when it opened. Mayor Emanuel has also pursued new and innovative sources of funding to support CTA's modernization. Transit TIF legislation is supporting the red and purple modernization and future transit projects, and the mayor established a new ride-hailing fee, making Chicago the first city in the country to devote ride-hailing fees exclusively to public transit capital improvements. The ride-hailing fee supports two important CTA initiatives, 
the Safe and Secure Project, which is upgrading and expanding CTA's security camera network, and Fast Tracks, which is replacing aging track infrastructure to provide faster, smoother rides on all train lines. As you can see, no period in recent CTA history has seen the amount of system-wide upgrades, service enhancements, and community engagement that we've seen under Mayor Rahm Emanuel. The mayor has ensured that the country's second largest transit agency will be second to none. But don't take our word for it. The New York Times recently lauded the job Mayor Emanuel has done to keep the CTA rolling. The article's headline says it all. Where Chicago trounces New York? Fixing mass transit. Thanks to Rahm Emanuel, the future is now at the CTA.